Uh, so welcome back guys my name is Amran and in today's make launch free campaign we go about looking at the common issues that Samsung M51 users face and how we can troubleshoot them. Now one of the most common issues that Samsung M51 or any Samsung user face is that of a black screen. Now after using the phone for some time you will see that while you want to start the phone the phone refuses to boot up and you see a black screen. Now if that happens with you what you can try doing is hold the power down and the volume button simultaneously so this is the power and this is the volume down hold both of them together and just hold on to this for some state i mean for some time until you see the m51 logo so this may take some time maybe like 10 15 odd seconds but just hold on to this state until you see the m51 logo and then the phone will reboot like normal if this doesn't work there's one more solution that you can try so what you will be doing is you will be tapping the phone and this will be medium taps so not very hard but still quite firm and this really works for many people so I will tap it on the back as well you will note that there is a lot of scratches because like I am using this phone for over a year now so why you tap the phone is in case some parts or accessories that's required for booting the phone has have gone loose so this helps them come back in place now again hold on to the volume down and the power button together and hold on to the state for some time until you see the M51 logo and subsequently the phone will boot up. So this is how simple this is and this will help you overcome the black screen, blank screen or when the Samsung M51 refuses to open. So doing this should help. Now other very common issue is the SIM card not being detected or the phone not getting registered on network and the phone only making emergency calls. If you are facing any of this, Try ejecting the SIM tray, just checking whether the SIM has been inserted properly. Also sometimes the SIM tray itself may be damaged and there may be dust on the SIM tray. So simply re remove the SIM cards, reinsert it, blow some air into the SIM tray and then reinsert this. And hopefully once you do this and like you check, the network should come. So this is quite possible and you will see like once the SIM has been reinserted, the networks are starting to come but there are further things you need to do head towards your settings go to connections go to mobile networks check whether the network has been configured correctly for your carrier that is to say i am using a geo sim so i select like the 4g lt for geo because geo works on lt i could not select like you know say something else like 3g or 2g because it's not the right network here i also request you to put on data roaming and then simply go ahead and reset your access point names sometimes you know during a software update or something the apn may reset wrongly and this can really help then one very important thing that i want you to now do is like head towards your settings head towards general and then like go ahead tap on reset and reset network settings resetting of network settings really is a one-stop solution for many different bugs go ahead and do this for both the sim cards in case you have double sim Go ahead and put in your screen pattern, then tap on reset. Don't worry, no data gets disturbed, no data gets lost. And then like you can do this for the other thing as well. Once you do this, only the Wi-Fi passwords or the network passwords, they need to be refed. But other than that, there is nothing else that gets disturbed. So doing this is also a very effective solution. And now like if you try seeing all your network signals and everything should come properly. I don't want you to do a factory data reset. That should be the last resort. And this should really go ahead and help you. Now, if you're not getting network, one very simple solution that many people say works is like simply turning on the flight mode. Once you turn on the flight mode, all your cellular networks, they all get disabled. Hold on to this state for two seconds and then kind of disable this and let the phone breathe a new life as far as the network is concerned. And you should see like all the networks are coming back. So doing this with the flight mode, actually helps so go ahead and turn on and then turn off the flight mode sometimes simply a small rebooting of phone can also help so you can simply go ahead and restart the phone i mean doing that often works out uh, to be one of the best solutions for many different bugs because once the phone has stopped and then restarted all different applications that run in the background and which may be creating certain errors they all are stopped and therefore your phone actually starts working well well, that's all as far as like network problems are concerned. 
another very common issue is the camera failing so like if that's the problem with you simply go ahead towards the camera settings scroll down until you see reset settings and simply reset your camera settings so like once you reset like hopefully most of your problems get solved if they don't what you can also do is tap towards setting head towards apps uh, search for your camera app so once you find your camera app simply force stop it for some time don't worry it doesn't delete any data then like you head to a storage like clear the cache and then clear the data and hopefully things should be now working fine once you go ahead and open up the camera app now please do note that in case like you have been using some different settings you need to go ahead and do that because all the settings which were earlier there will now be reset to the original ones so now if you have specific formats for your videos and other things you need to do that now another very common user uh, issue that users face is like constant notification beep sounds that come this can be a sim issue or it can be device issue if it's a device issue what you need to do is like you need to turn off your nfc and your bluetooth so if your bluetooth is turned on just turn it off and also if your nfc is turned on turn nfc off sometimes what happens is if this device is bought in close contact with a compatible card reader uh, it will try and establish contacts and that's when this can be a problem also head towards your settings go to notifications scroll down until you see advanced settings and in case the notification reminder is turned on just turn it off because you know what it does is reminds every three minutes about selected apps and you can understand how boring this can be so sometimes during a software update this can happen so simply turn that off and if it's a sim issue like you know what happens is you may have like a sim which is responsible for doing this so mine is idea simply open up the app the power toolkit go to a slash go towards activation and deactivate this so what it does is like in case the sim is responsible for sending certain beeps this will now stop now some users also say that the phone has gone slow it's lagging head towards your settings go to about phone like go to software information and then build number tap on it several times until the developer mode is enabled so you will be prompted for screen pattern now once you head towards your settings scroll down you will see developer options here scroll down until you see a certain thing i will tell you what so scroll down until you see drawing and here there are certain animation scales so all the animation scales just make it like 0.5 or 1x so this will actually double uh, the speed of your phone and how it does that so every time you're using a phone like any app or something you see the icons and other things so like when you press it and it tends to load so that is basically the time taken and if you reduce this by like one or point something so it means that you are making it that fast also <clears throat> what i will try and advise here is disable hardware overlays so it means using the gpu and this also can work wonders because the gpu is much much faster so go ahead and do this as well this is like telling the phone that please don't use the cpu please go ahead and use the graphical processor unit and like any time there's a game or something that you are playing which requires like you know high graphics this can be really fast but a word of caution here this can drain your battery so use this with caution i will advise this is actually not needed if you are simply looking at faster phone simply turning on like the animation scales to a lower level can really work wonders so go ahead and do that and let me know whether your lagging problem is solved now sometimes users are reporting the phone is having certain Wi-Fi issues and the phone may also refuse to pair up with other Bluetooth devices. That's the case, one of the solutions that we spoke of earlier can really help scroll down until you see like you know general and then here tap on reset, uh, tap on reset network settings and then do this for both the sims prompted for screen pattern, tap on reset and like once you do this like and the network settings have reset like hopefully you know what will happen is like all your wi-fi and bluetooth issues along with network issues will get sorted now another common issue that i hear people saying is that of apps crashing if that's the case note which app is crashing head towards applications open up that specific app say it's 99 acres for me so go ahead and force stop the app don't worry nothing gets deleted then head towards storage and then clear data and clear cache and then now go ahead and open the app and it should work perfectly fine well it's like as if you have installed a new version of the app so you don't need to worry yes we had a net glitch now when i click on open you will see that the app opens up properly uh, like i said the net should be working for all of this to happen like since we did a network reset i needed to put my wi-fi password again for the net to start working 
Now users also report of battery draining issues. Now if you are facing this, this can be because of many things. But note one thing that vibration is a like you know battery killer. So it's always good to remove the vibration thing. Also if you have the phone on say some great graphic settings, time to like you know <laughs> go ahead and disable those graphic settings. Keeping on the dark mode or black is always good because it consumes le less pixels. If you have the developer mode turned on, what you can do is head towards the developer mode, scroll right towards the bottom. Here like you will see uh, there is some background activities limits. So here like just limit this to at most uh, two. So let it not be the standard. And then another thing that you can do is head towards your storage, uh, battery and device care. So here like uh, go ahead and automation. So auto optimize daily should be turned on. So that you need to do. Go towards battery, turn on uh, not re really required power setting mode. But just head towards like more battery settings and check whether adaptive battery has been turned on. Please do note that YouTube, WhatsApp, Facebook messaging apps consume a lot of uh, like battery. So it's always good to kind of, you know, uh, put this apps to sleep or restrict background activity for this applications. But I leave that to you because some of you may want to use those applications. Uh, using those and games, this can be a great battery eater. Uh, I spoke about how in the developer options, GPU rendering can eat your battery a lot. So it's always good to kind of disable that and like, you know, keep it to the CPU rendering because the CPU consumes less battery than GPU. Now, one of the last things that I want to advise is like, please go ahead and update your software if there's a software update possible, because sometimes updating software can fix many bugs and auto optimize your device. So I hope that I have solved quite few many bugs that happen on the Samsung M51 device. In in case you are suffering from any other issue on the Samsung M51, do let us know in the comment section. Also let us know which one of the issues you faced and how the video may have helped you. Please do share this with your friends and also please stay tuned for more such tutorials in the future. So I request you to please subscribe and play, uh, press the bell icon so that you keep getting notified of our work. Until next time, it's me Amnan signing off. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much.